Hope you don't mind me using your truck one last time, Devin. <laughs> I promise I'm not gonna hurt it, but I do need to use it just one last time. And the reason why I need to use it one last time is because we have to pick up a load of hay what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So like I said, this is the style of content we're doing now. Going back to just, I'm gonna vlog everything that interests me that I have going on day to day. And hopefully you guys find some entertainment in it. If you don't, I'm sorry. If you do, awesome, that's the goal. But anyways, we gotta go pick up a load of hay from a guy local. It's not a big load, it's 50 small square bales. It's nothing crazy. But we do gotta go pick it up, and put it in the barn, and uh, yeah, so they wanted the big trailer. They said that no sides on the trailer would be better. So that's what we're gonna do. And he's a neighbor, old guy, says he has some hay he's like to sell. He's gonna have it right off the field and they'll stack on the trailer. I'm like, okay, perfect, you know, that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna go drop this trailer off and then uh, we'll pick you guys back up probably when we get back to the house here and we're gonna work on cleaning the shop some more. But also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications because I know YouTube doesn't really like sending out notifications unless you have notifications on. Sometimes they do if they're favoring your channel for a small period of time, but a lot of times they are not going to send out video notifications unless you hit the notification bell, okay? There's gonna be a little bell. You gotta click on that to actually turn on notifications so when I post a video, you get notified. If you don't do that, even if you're subscribed, a lot of times they will not send out the notifications unless, like I said, you've been watching the channel a lot recently or something, and then sometimes they'll kind of favor that and then they'll send you notification anyway. But most of the time, unless you have the notifications on, you won't get the notifications. So we made it back from dropping off that trailer to get the hay loaded up for us. Now that's probably gonna be a few hours before that gets back, but I wanted to work on cleaning up more of the shop, getting it a little bit more organized, and just kind of making it more of a usable, workable space because I'm gonna need more room to store that hay. And I have this area here and we're probably gonna be able to store some of it up on here as well, but we are gonna to wanna to use more of this space over here. And I'm thinking about actually taking this truck bed, believe it or not, and putting it in the corner and stacking the bales on top inside the truck bed. Why? Well, really just to kind of keep maybe some of the moisture from rising up through the rocks from the ground temperature stuff and kind of setting in on the bottom layer of the hay. I don't know if it's gonna really serve its purpose, you know, amazingly or not, but I thought it might help. So I'm gonna to try to get all this junk out of here, put that somewhere else or find a way to get rid of it here and then set this in the corner between these two posts. That way we can store whatever bales we can't put over here, which will probably be like 25. We can put the other 25 like stacked on top of this truck bed liner in the corner and it'll kind of keep the mess, you know, condensed into its own little area and it'll fit just about perfect there. Clean up the rest of the shop, get some of this trash dumped out into the trash bin that I brought up and just get some of this organized and get the shop just cleaned up and looking good. It's really not that much to clean up. I know it looks like a lot, but in reality, it's just some wheels and tires, some boxes, some bales, some stuff. I mean, it's just some stuff sitting around but this other half of the barn is all cleaned up. It's just some small organization issues needing <laughs> to get tended to. So that's what we're gonna be working on right now. Let's see how much progress we can get and see if we can't get this all cleaned up. cleaner it's not spotless but I got the tires moved into the corner I got all of this junk compressed and into the trash can actually I know you're not technically supposed to put a bunch of metal in your trash can but I did so we got all the first gen resto gen parts over here the new bumper dash shocks all that stuff that we're gonna be using in that little spot just of course the wagon the trash cans the trash can with the hay in it I mean, the straw, my bad. And then we've got the bed here. And actually, I just got a phone call that the hay's ready to pick up. And like I said, it's probably gonna put about 25-ish bales here, and then another 25 there, and then uh, 
should be good to go. So we're gonna go and pick up this load, but you can see how much this all got opened up. I got that boat target pushed up in between the posts there, closer to the wall. I got the tires and wheels up in the far corner of the front where they're not gonna be in the way of putting a truck in here. And that's the main goal here is to open the shop up enough so that we can bring a truck in through this door and actually be able to like pull it in at an angle here and have all of this open shop space on either side of it, not trying to wedge it right here in the middle and work up against the stall doors and then have one open side. I wanna be able to swing the truck in here at an angle so we actually have a lot of room on both sides. You know, if it were even, let's say a crew cab long bed, we would have the room to pull the truck in at an angle and actually fit it versus what we've been doing, which is just trying to pull it right here. And then we had all this just junk all spread out here and it just made it a real pain in the butt. That's the progress right now. We may even move the wheels and tires down into that gravel pit area and then put a tool bench along here to put some of our socket sets and air compressor and all that stuff along this wall. So it's closer to the trucks versus down over in that corner, all congested. But I don't know, we'll decide on that later. But right now I've got to get the truck started up and head on over to pick up our hay. And we made it back with the hay. That was a pain to back in. I couldn't see the tires. We had like an inch off. Should have just take out those posts. And not to mention, I can't turn my tires all the way because of the how big they are. So I like had to kept like going forward a little bit and back a little bit because I didn't want to rub the fenders all up. Yeah. But here's a load of hay we got, and it's already coming in handy having this barn cleaned up better. What do you guys think about my cleanup job? It's pretty good. It's my pretty reorganization. Turned out pretty good. So they're gonna be putting the hay over there and over here. Hopefully it all fits. This stuff looks really good though. I mean, I'm super excited about it. It's just for the donkey and the horse really, unless we happen to get any other animals, but I'm hoping we don't at this point. Who knows? I didn't know about the donkey until it showed up. So I mean, anything could happen at this point, you know? <laughs> So we got the hay all stored in the barn here. Let me show you what we ended up doing. So I used that truck bed liner from that white park truck first gen that we gave to Devin and I put it on the ground and to put the hay in it because I wanted to keep like a barrier between the gravel and dirt underneath the gravel and the you know bales themselves. Will that work? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Is that just like a dumb theory that that'll help with moisture rising up? I know that my uncle in Ohio, he always laid tarps under his tractors and parked on them because he said that it would, just the tarp barrier alone would help keep moisture from dry rotting his tires, you know, coming up through the gravel. So I don't know, let me know, is this craziness? Uh, let me know. In terms of these bales, these bales are going like tomorrow, so I'm not really worried about it because Jess is buying these off me like in the morning. But for these, they're gonna be here for, you know, weeks at a time, you know, so I just wanna make sure that they're not sitting on gravel for that long of periods of time. Then over here, we got the rest of it all stacked up in here. I had Matthias and Peyton throw those up there. You can see the difference between like this stuff and the stuff that I had bought before. And this is like orchard grass, Timothy, something, he said some kind of bluegrass, something or another. Just a bunch of stuff that he said is really good for horses. And he's like right down the road, so it's like really nice. But he said he doesn't have horses anymore, so he has all these hay fields and he just sells it off now. But this other stuff is just more of like yellowish, greenish not quite as much like straight up like green. But obviously the difference is too, that was bailed a year ago, this is bailed today. So that's also gonna show a difference in color as well. Looks good, smells great in this barn now. But here's the progress for the day. Barn's all cleaned up, I threw that American flag up because I saw it laying down here on the ground in a package and I thought, well, shoot, let's throw it up there. So that's what we did. We just cleaned up and reorganized some stuff so the barn's in a more usable condition. I'm pretty happy with it. That's gonna put a wrap on today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you enjoy the content of just little bits of everything, please hit the like button. I wanna know if you enjoy it or if you don't. And if you haven't done so yet, hit the notification bell so you get the notifications. I know about 50% of you watching aren't subscribed and 50% of you or more that are subscribed don't have notifications on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Get that done. If you wanna to enter to win this truck, we're giving away this truck plus five 
thousand dollars cash. It's a six-speed manual, 2015 six seven Cummins, and it's only got 25,000 miles on it. This is how simple it is to enter. Go to lmpgear.com. There's a link in the description, and every five dollars until Friday. June 26 gets you five times the entries and then that's dropping down. So if you want to get five entries, don't waste any time. Link in description. That's ending really soon here. If you want to enter to win this Hellcat plus $5,000, that's also up for grabs. Link in the description below. It says we give away fast cars here and every $5 gets you two entries to win that car until July 3rd and then those double entries. And thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.